you holding? We winning. You losing. We winning. You losing. We winning. We losing. We winning. Just losing. We winning. You losing. We winning. It's a full man handle. We winning. What is going on, everybody? How? are y'all doing before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up let's get those likes up boy all right we have a couple of dope news items for this video the first one a game changer is about to occur next gen through the playstation 5 developers have their hands on the dev kit what close to the final specs of the system will be and there's some big things popping off through Sony's next console specifically this article is coming from hothardware.com titled the PlayStation 5's as soon as my video focuses ooh, the PlayStation 5's ultra fast SSD will revolutionize gaming says game developers <coughs> game load tides are one of one place where game developers are looking to make things faster for gamers rather than making them wait breaking the immersion in challenging games where players die a lot on the screen faster load times means less of a frustrating wait i tell you bro one of the most frustrating things, things is when you die. I rarely did. I rarely die. I say I rarely dare. I rarely die because I'm so good at video games. I'm a video game prodigy, boy. Just check out my Smash Brothers skills. It's a joke. But when you die in a game, and then you a load screen, and then you die, another load screen. Die, Cuphead. <laughs> you die a lot in Cuphead. Bro, just imagine you die, boom, no load screen. You right back in the action. That's crazy. But it says, load times will be significantly um, improved with the PlayStation 5. According to a game developer called BoxFrog Games, thanks to the system's SSD-based storage subsystem. BoxFrog is developing a game that will launch soon called Lost Wing which is a futuristic flight arcade game. Developer Tim Ash from BoxFrog recently talked about Lost Wing before moving to other topics in his chat. He was asked about an SSD being included in the PlayStation 5. He said that the inclusion of the SSD was a bigger deal than people realize. Ash noted that when he plays Lost Wing, there is a lot of respawning, therefore a lot of reloading. Ash also noted that the game is very prompt on load times after the initial load. Adding in a high performance SSD for the PlayStation 5 means that gamers will see a larger general performance increase and more immersion than a lot of people realize. That should mean games who are just coming up, um, up a learning curve and tend to die a lot. Gamers coming up a learning curve and tend to die a lot won't get as frustrated as having to wait a long time in between respawning. In June, Sony PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan touted that fast SSD, that the fast SSD that the PlayStation 5 will bring and the fact that it will support 4K 120 hertz output. <coughs> Pricing on the PlayStation 5 is a mystery Sony has only said that the price will be appealing. Given the advanced features set, the PlayStation 5 will offer. PlayStation, given the advanced feature set, the PlayStation 5 will offer. We can't read today. We do know that the PlayStation 5 will use the AMD hardware inside, sp specifically a Zen 2 based CPU and Navi graphics of some sort. And so the nutshell of the article is saying. The PlayStation 5 is going to have some kind of SSD subsystem to where load times are going to be either significantly re reduced or non-existent. Just imagine games that don't have load times at all. I'm telling you, man, next generation, I'm going to be eyeing what both Xbox and Sony does. <coughs> 
And I think next generation, it's going to matter less and less what piece of plastic you pick up. More games are adopting crossplay. You're still going to have your exclusives. Each platform is definitely going to have their exclusives. Microsoft is investing in a lot of um, studios. Sony's investing in studios. But at the end of the day, I want to see how what the specs of both systems. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Nintendo, I pick up Nintendo systems day one. With Sony and Microsoft, I want to see the hardware, the exclusives. This generation, wait, last generation, I was on my Xbox 360 heavy, bro. Because most of the third-party games ran better, looked better. This generation, at the beginning of the generation, I was on my base PlayStation model first and heavy. Why? It was a no-brainer. The system was cheaper and the games ran better until the X came out. <laughs> Once the Xbox X came, I just want the best place to play video games, bro. And so right now, the Xbox One X for me is the best place. Nintendo still has the best exclusives. We're going to talk about um, Link's Awakening in a second in this video. And so I want to see what both Sony and Microsoft do next generation but this is interesting what do you guys think about this but the next news item bro we might be getting some bayonetta 3 news launch dates real soon why do i say this <coughs> both bayonetta 1 and 2 are about to vanish be removed from the japanese and european wii u stores next week excuse me bro couple of one or two things bayonetta 3 about to launch soon they want you to buy that game or but don't they already they already have bayonetta 2 on the switch so I, the only rationale i could think is bayonetta 3 news is about to happen with them removing bayonetta 1 and 2 they want you to get three boy so should be interesting 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 can't wait to see what Bayonetta 3 looks like and runs. I had Bayonetta 2 on my Wii U, thoroughly enjoyed it from beginning to end, beat it, even though I'm not real big on uh, some of the hack and slash games, but Bayonetta 2 pulled me in and I liked it, man. Next news item, bro. NBA 2K20 has had possibly the worst <laughs> video game launch in video game history, period. Now, Disclaimer, they have since patched the game, and there are great improvements. But, bro, the game launched broken. Glitches to where players could rep up to their max, like in one day. You hardly could connect to the servers. The gameplay was glitchy. It was a mess. It was so bad. The number one trending topic on Twitter was fix NBA 2K20. Broken. <coughs> this is what happens when you try to rush a game to meet a deadline. So many bugs in the game. But the game has since been patched. And I've noticed a big improvement. So shout out to 2K for listening <laughs> that money bro when dudes start returning games and not buying your vc you send those patches out asap so they did patch the game the game now um runs a whole lot better let's let it still glitches still some glitches on the court but a lot better this is the game that's had all of my time right now dudes if you follow me on twitch i'm probably or tonight i'm gonna play some gears but I'm usually playing NBA 2K20, trying to grind my player all the way up, park rep up, level 99. We lit, boy. We're going to have crazy handles. I still need to get those shooting badges. But I'm really, really, really liking. Once you're on the court and you're actually playing, the gameplay is top notch. So NBA 2K20, get your act together, bro. Bro. A new Final Fantasy VII trailer just dropped at Tokyo Game Show. <coughs> this is the trailer playing. I'm afraid to play the music because um, I don't want to get a copyright claim, but man, this is, I haven't, I've been primarily on my Xbox, I haven't touched my PlayStation in forever. This is the game. 
that's going to get me to dust off my PlayStation, especially if it's not coming to the Xbox. If it comes like a week or two before, but right now it seems like it's just a Sony exclusive. So definitely, definitely day one. Love this game on the PlayStation 1. Such a, such a dope genre. Video game, historical game changing game. Final Fantasy 7, day one buy. Game looks lit. Can't wait. Did they announce a launch date? At the end of this trailer? Let's we'll see. Is there a launch date? 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 There is! They probably already announced this. But March 3rd, 2000, 2000, I can't talk. 2020. So next year, March 3rd, day one, pick up Final Fantasy 7. Gonna be lit. And speaking of new trailers and dope games. This is my most anticipated Nintendo Switch game for 2020, Link's Awakening. It drops in nine days, boy. This is one of the Zelda games I've never played. Game just looks beautiful, bro. I love the art style. Nintendo dropped a new trailer. This is the new trailer, but Link's Awakening comes out on the 20th. I already have it preloaded on my Switch. Definitely going to be beating this game. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this news item, this video? Sound off in this comment section, in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things gaming, bro. We out, boy. Start choosing. We winning. We deucing. You losing? Let's go. Little Black Big Planet 3, decent game. It was. They do it like a baby. Google got a hype. Google got a A. Google got a hype. Winning all the way. Google got a hype. Google got a A. Google got a hype. Y'all crying every day. We winning. We shining.